Hello and welcome to my channel, This Ain't Your Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, it is Monday so it is time to work your whips Monday. Okay, so last time I did have the week off. <laughs> so, um, I believe the last time you all chose for me it was a new whip and I am excited about this. It's just a concept in my head right now and I'm hoping that I can get some things worked out today where I know um, going forward how I can actually work this up. <laughs> so I don't have anything drawn out for you yet today, but I am going to be using um, this ice yarn here and I have three more of these and this was a awesome awesome gift from Jeannie over at Butterfly Dreams Crochet with Jeannie so thank you so much sis I appreciate it and um it is the uh, ice yarns in the cakes DK it is 100% premium acrylic 100 grams which is approximately 50 meters it is a number three lightweight yarn and they suggest using uh, four millimeter needles so I will be using a, a six millimeter crochet hook and the reason being is because uh, what I want to make first of all what I want to make is a top I'm not for sure if it'll be a poncho or a sweater because um, It's not going to be like, if it is a sweater, it's not going to be like fitted. So it might seem more, maybe just an oversized sweater. I'm not for sure. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so what, what my plan is, is to use the tutorial from Sabrina Melodus. <laughs> and I will link that tutorial down below. I already worked that tutorial up um, making a rug. And now I want to use it to make a sweater or some kind of garment. So, um, since it is such a dense stitch and it does eat a lot of yarn, that's why I want to use such a large hook. Um, also, my idea, my thinking is, now hers is exactly a square, so... I'm going to be making it is also closed okay so I need a hole for my head so I'm thinking of making um, a chain and then obviously it'll be longer in the front and in the back and I'm hoping then that will give me like a rectangular shape that I need from the top as opposed to a, you know more of a square shape so that is what I'm thinking and um, that is my plan so I don't really have anything to show you guys and I don't have anything written down as of yet so this is like totally new I am starting from the very beginning <laughs> and I'll try to um, write things down like what I'm doing just in case you guys are interested possibly working it up yourself now I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on the stitch itself because she's already done that I will link it down below where you can check it out if you would like but I will um, let you know the changes that I made so if you would like to recreate the top that I'm making then you can go ahead and do that for yourself. Now, obviously, it is a top, so it's going to take a little longer, so I won't have it all done in this video, but um, I will get started best I can, and whatever I get done today, I will share with you at the end. All right, so I hope you're excited about this and how it will turn out. I hope it sounds like a good idea. To me, in my head, it is gorgeous, especially with all these colors. That is really the one thing that stood out to me in her tutorial. She is changing colors, and um, it is just absolutely gorgeous. You have to check it out. But um, me, I don't want to weave in all those ends, so I figure a color-changing yarn would be the way to go. All right, and this definitely has a lot of colors in it. <laughs> so I was like, yes, this would be the perfect project for that. Um, yeah, also, I'm not for sure if I'm going to be using this stitch for the entire top because I have 
I do have four of these cakes, but it's, the stitch itself is quite a bit of a yarn eater. So I'm thinking just enough to um, cover the top and the arms, and then the body of it will probably be a different stitch. But uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how much yarn I have left. If I have enough yarn, a whole top in that stitch would probably be, would probably be gorgeous. <laughs> Alright everyone, so let me go ahead and get started. So go ahead and grab your whip if you haven't already. So you can get some progress done with me. And um, let's get started. Here we go. It's still not straight, but 
see. There. Okay, so that is what I have so far. So this is how it's looking. Oops. Okay, that's how it's looking so far. And I really like the color changes. This one kind of cut. This one. <laughs> split right in the middle so that's pretty cool but um yes that is and it ate up a lot of yarn so far look at that <laughs> but that is where i'm at so far um so what i did was i did a foundation single crochet of 84 and then i put stitch markers at four corners so I put a stitch marker at stitch number 16 stitch number 42 stitch number 58 and stitch number 84 because I wanted it to be you know longer across the front and then the sides are shorter also I started um, yes well those um, where I marked the stitches at that will have your seam where it's on the side and um, It'll be where your arm goes. So that is my top so far. I'm pretty excited about how it's going to turn out. Um, I have not done this before. This is my very, very first time trying this out. So I'm hoping that it will work out in the way that I want it to. <laughs> and uh, I did have to pause to go back and rewatch the tutorial. Um, so some of that you might not have seen me work up in the video because I needed to work on it as I was watching the tutorial. <laughs> so I just had paused for a little bit to do that. But other than that, I'm very happy with the progress that I got done. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. <laughs> and um, all of that good stuff down below in the comments. Okay. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you were working on and the progress that you got done. And I will see you all in the next one. Oh, wait a minute. We have our options. Yes. Do you want me to continue to work on this top? That will be option number one. Option number two is going to be charity hats. And I think I'm going to leave it at that for right now. So option one is continue the top. And option two will be charity hats. Alright, so thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all in the next one.